Hey guys, I wanted to hop on and do a quick video about sperm banks. And the reason I wanted to do this is because it's a lot of us in the same sex community that has to go through sperm banks. It's some people that go through known donors. Maybe they know a friend or they have an ex-boyfriend or something that's doing it. Um, and some women that right now in 2018 are choosing to be single parents by choice. And so most of them have to go through a sperm bank. And just picking a sperm process was not easy like I thought it would be. And this is why. Um, a lot of times when you see an African-American same-sex couple and you see that they decided to expand their family, I'm going to say 8 out of 10% of the time, the child will be mixed. And one thing that I noticed from people, friends and associates and co-workers that asked me about my journey, that asked me about the sperm donor, when I tell them, a lot of them has this assumption that because I'm a lesbian, I'm ashamed to be black and, and things like that. And that's totally not the case. The reason you see a lot of women who, have, who are African American, who had a baby using fertility treatment with a mixed child is not because they are ashamed of their race. It's simply because it's not any African American options. And we went to two very known sperm banks, um, California Cairo Bank and Fairfax Cairo Bank in Virginia. And we knew we wanted African American. Now, when you do your search, let's just throw a number out there. It was like 20,000 <laughs> sperm donors. So we went one by one and started removing the races that we didn't want. The first race we removed was Caucasians. No offense, but we wanted African American because we're African American. So we click Caucasian. And that 20,000 went all the way down to 5,000 just by taking Caucasian out. Then we took Hispanic out. <laughs> Once we took Hispanic out, that 5,000 dropped all the way down to like 1,000. Then we took Asian out. That Asian left us with four African-American donors. So out of 20,000, it was four left. Then when you go to your fertility clinic, when your doctor knows that you are using sperm, a sperm donor, it's certain things that your doctor is going to require you to choose. You have to make sure that they CMV status matches yours. If you do not know what that means, check with your doctor. If I remember, I'll put it below. Doubt it, but I'm going to try. Um, you have to check the correct CMV status and you have to make sure the blood type is compatible to yours because you don't want to get a donor that blood type is so different that when it comes with yours, it creates problems within the child. So that's very important. So once we put in the CMV status and the blood type, those four left us with one. And then when we clicked on the one, as far as his looks, his education, things like that, his voice, his interview, we just did not find him compatible with us. So we said, okay, if it's not a big number of African Americans, let's choose another minority. That way our child will still have some type of color to him or her. That way they could still feel a part of the family. I don't, for whatever reason, we just have this huge fear that if we do Caucasian and our child come out super light, we just have this fear that he or she is going to feel like an outcast in our family or different. And we don't want our child to feel different. We want our children to feel different. We want all of them to know that they are loved. They are part of the family. All of us blend together. We just, that's, that's just important to us. So we, the first go around, we chose someone who was mixed, um, they was Hispanic and Asian, and 
his sperm created the best quality eggs we ever had and his sperm is no longer available in IVF form and the last donor we used I believe he was Polynesian. I want to say, no, that's not right. That's not right. He was the same nationality as the Kardashians. And um, that was that. Other factors you need to take into effect with going to a sperm bank, it's not cheap. And you do, you will feel jip. I'm not even gonna lie. IVF sperm is the most affordable sperm. Um, for us, our IVF sperm with the Cairo Bank we used was like five seventy five dollars each vial. IUI sperm was more like <laughs> anywhere between $800 and $1,000 per vial. And I can remember, this might be TMI, but when I had my very first IUI and the doctor came in, he put this little thing in my hand. It was smaller than a pen top. He put it in my hand, he said, close it real tight. And as he set up everything, and my wife and I was like, well, what is this? And he was like, that's the sperm. It was in this little itty bitty thing. And like I said, IUI sperm was more expensive. We paid every bit of $1,000 for that sperm. And the tube was maybe that big, and it wasn't even filled with sperm. So I felt jit because this is TMI, but I am a woman who have a past with men. We're grown here. We all grown. So let's keep it 100. All of us know what is released out of the man. And I know good damn well from my experience with men that um, more comes out of his hoo-ha than what was in that little ass container. So I really felt robbed. Like I pay a thousand dollars for this. Like sperm is very expensive. So be ready for that. It's And if you have to buy it multiple times, that's gonna add up. You gonna be making it rain on all the, the nurses and the RNs and, 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 and the blood uh, taking people. I call them blood taking people because I always get bruised when they take my blood. But that's another story. Um, so be prepared for that with choosing your sperm bank. Um, if you have a sperm bank close to you, pick it up and take it to your fertility clinic yourself. Like we live in Maryland, our um, sperm bank is in Virginia. So we just picked it up. That saved us like almost $300 just in shipping costs. We dropped it off and took the tank back. Saves you a lot of money. And that's about it. If No, that's not it. If you are using a sperm bank, go into it with an open mind, especially if you are a minority. I do not know why it is not more of us in the sperm bank. I have no clue why. Um, my wife seems to think it's a conspiracy. She seems to think that they're just trying to keep us out and they don't want us to reproduce. I'm not saying that I totally agree with her, but <laughs> when you think about a database with over 20,000 sperm donors in there and only four comes up with your race and then when you put, put in your blood type, only one is a match, it does make you feel like Are they shading us? So, um, <laughs> if you are a minority, be prepared to not find us. Be open-minded. Be willing to get another race. Be willing to look into another, other races. Um, at this point, I'm even willing to look into a Caucasian race, even though the donors that's in the system at our sperm bank is not attractive, but whatever. That's another story. <laughs> I hope this helps somebody. I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys.